all right good evening one and all welcome to the video so i made a lot of tutorials these days on multi-threading multi-processing and especially a syncio the one of the buzzword in python it's pretty powerful i love it and in this video a lot of people were asking me like they actually were thinking like the asyncio and the threading is the same thing and i am here to basically make you understand all right basically show you the difference why they are different um, basically okay so let's get started with this video without wasting much of time okay so i have just one slide which i'm going to explain in detail and this might clear your concepts so let's learn the definition of asyncio or asyncio so basically asyncio means to write concurrent asynchronous and cooperative code in sequential style. Okay, let's break this down a little bit. Concurrent, what does concurrent mean? Let me basically read concurrency. So concurrency, starting and running and completing task in overlapping time period. Okay, let me further simplify that. That means, let's say you're executing a function A and after a while you would switch to function B. Then again, you would switch to function A, then function B, function A, function B. So you are switching it, that is called concurrency. Asynchronous, uh, let us define asynchronous or asynchronous. So basically, let's say you're executing this function and suddenly there was a call made to this function. So this function can be basically run in independently of the other functions. It will be running in the background, some kind of a database or something like that. So, th so you don't need to return the value of those kind of function. That's why it's called asynchronous. Cooperative, so basically I wanna break this into further two types. That is multitasking can be preemptive multitasking and cooperative multitasking. Now let me uh, push this a little further. Uh, gotta explain you a little bit here. So preemptive multitasking means, uh, you know, the scheduler defines the switching between tasks. For example, let's say you are doing task red and then you are doing task yellow. So the amount of time that the switch that is what I'm saying is the assume hypothetically, okay? Task red would be the scheduler will only assign one microsecond for every task. So for one microsecond, the red is going to be executed. Then for other one microsecond, yellow is executed. Third micro, like for another one microsecond, the blue would be given chance. And then again, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, and so on. So what's going on is you do not have power or you do not have rather I would say control what if you want to execute red for a longer duration let's say you want to um, execute for two microsecond and yellow you want to only execute for one microsecond so you want the control so cooperative multitasking enables you to do that so here you can see cooperative multitasking so if you see the red um, is a little bigger right so you, you can execute red for a bigger time duration than yellow so you it gives you more flexibility or i would say more control so in threading as far as um, i am right and you can correct me if i'm wrong here so in threading it's basically the scheduler defines the time slicing right so it's fixed and you do not have much control but in async you you have the control you can change the slice like it's basically writing coroutines here and um, these things I, I have learned from one of our nice YouTuber. Um, there is no shame in, you know, like if you have learned from some something and you are teaching people, it's fine. I would show you from where I have learned. Uh, there's this guy, beautiful guy. Um, he's an Indian guy. Um, he's a pretty good. Uh, he's, he's a nice uh, Python developer. So I learned from his uh, basically YouTube, um, the concept. I mean, I knew it. I just wanted to explain you guys better. So I was finding more tutorials, introduction to async i I'll leave the links to the description. So this is where I learned from and if I made any mistake in explaining you, you can uh, feel free to correct me. Uh, so I would say asyncio is uh, pretty powerful. It allows you a lot of stuff. It, you can write concurrent, asynchronous and cooperative code in sequential style. It's pretty amazing. So definitely try out learning asyncio. I have three tutorials. Uh, first tutorial covers the basics. Second tutorial covers the object oriented asyncio. So yeah, definitely guys, check it out. And if you have any more questions, list your questions in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next time. So as I said, if I'm wrong, please definitely feel free to, um, uh, you know, um, let me know like if I'm wrong. I, I, I might be wrong, like, right? I'm not a god, right? So if I'm wrong, you can educate me. You can tell your thing. Hey, this is where you, uh, I think you said uh, incorrectly. Uh, but in a, you know, of course, in a better way, you can lay it out. So let me know uh, what you think about uh, difference between async queue and threading, like in general, right? So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, do give a like and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.